Mic is unmuted, desktop just... audio is muted. Cool, great. Do you want to introduce? Go, go, go. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to this week's podcast, Dead by Podcast, episode 9. 9. The is Dead nine? by Daylight podcast, yes. Into so double figures to. next time. Yeah, so you don't have to. <laughs> to double figures. I remember I remember at uh, primary school, they used to do that, double figures. You would uh, always, when it was your birthday, you'd go up at the front in assembly and everyone would say, happy birthday. And then if it was double figures, if you're 10, they would be like, oh, double figures, double figures. Uh, my primary school stopped doing that the year I turned 10. So I was, I, I didn't, I didn't get to go up. I was looking forward to my double figures announcement, but. Really? Yeah. Don't, so you're going to make me upset. As far as I'm concerned, I'm still in single figures. It's a long held trauma of mine that I didn't get to go up in assembly and say, double figures, double figures. Yeah, but you can now tell the world that you're into double figures times two. Time, well, I'm not into triple figures, am I? Double figures times two would be quadruple fi- figures. So, quad- That's true. Maybe one day. The problem, the great thing about that as well is that if you do get to double figures, that's the last time you can say that because if you do get to triple figures, all your friends aren't going to be around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are we talking about today? What are we talking about today? Oh, there's dead a bunch daylight. of topics today. Yeah, uh, we'll be dead by daylight at some point. Yeah, um, but remember that you don't have to. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so you that's, don't have to. That's it, yeah. Maybe that should be our little thing we got maybe we should add no, that I, to the little I thing i ripped it off i ripped it off from someone uh oh don't say that uh i review movies so you don't have to or something uh yeah but that makes sense i watch movies so you don't no have no, to. no 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 but it was it was like the movie podcast so you don't have to or something so you don't have to yeah i can't find it someone Fantastic. someone will know someone will know Right, so on today's podcast, obviously we're going to talk about the uh, patch updates uh, 4.5.1, 4.5.2, more importantly. Yes. Um, we've also added a little segment to, to my Discord, which will be for Debo Podcast questions. So we've got a bunch of stuff up there that we can just quickly talk about. Not too much, but um, I mean, <sighs> Debo Daylight like, have put out a couple of little teasers for the for the new chapter. What chapter is this? I always this love it. Chapter 19. 19, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so they've um, put out two different... At this point, okay, 25th of Feb, they've put out two teasers so far for the whoa, next Whoa, 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 now. Hang on, hang on a minute, whoa, hang on a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, technically, I have a chair, out... king of the castle. <laughs> yeah, technically they've put out four teasers. Five teasers. Yes, I'll run you through them. The first one... I've got two. The first one was replacing their profile picture with the Dead by Daylight logo, but sort of glitchy. Glitch logo, that? that's what I have, yeah. Yes. Uh, the second one was this image of uh, Feng. Feng Min next to five yeah. monitors. Right, my gaming setup. Wait, are those the only two you were talking about? Those are the only two that I've got. Whoa, whoa, so you haven't seen the... Hold on, let me send you this. What? You haven't seen this? <clears throat> They they changed their name on uh they changed their name on Twitter to Magnum Opus. They changed their profile picture to uh the picture of a person's face. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. I'll do a little bit of editing for this podcast. Go on. Uh, and if you're listening to it on Spotify, then you're just gonna have to look it up for yourself. So this is all the stuff. Mighty One Entertainment. Uh, been working all night. Stay tuned. The Korean they put there is fighting, and then you've got this cup of coffee. And in the reflection of the cup of coffee, there is sort of a city backdrop, like a skybox sort of thing. Uh, and obviously the picture of it, what it looks like, a woman wearing a fur coat and a kind of suit and tie. And then you've got the Mighty One Entertainment thing in the back. It's a very, very different like colour scheme to what we're used to. It looks very futuristic. Stylized. It does. This is really strange because one of the questions actually in my Discord was about um, what do you guys think of them introducing a city map? And that was and days, days before they did that. That was days before. Yeah, this was just... And I suddenly thought well, that would be a great idea. Um, so for me going into that, I'd be thinking, well, it'd have to be potentially a ruined city, right? Because the entity would have to take control of it. It couldn't be like a working city because it's not... Well, you know, it could be. It could be. I mean, the 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 the, the, uh, the realms are just imprints of memories from the survivors and killers. They could be anything. It could be a working city. It could wonder, be a working city. I wonder if there's actually, yeah, things going around, like as if like you're dead as a ghost. And a city's working normally, and you're just there running away from some creature because you're now under the entity. You're control. the only one that can see it. Oh. I thought, yeah. where would the loops be? Well, you could have 
around different buildings around um, cars yeah around car well there's already cars building blocks the maybe game. you can go into buildings as well fire escape maybe it could be a vertical <laughs> style map where you're going up and down the stairs i mean the engine wouldn't work with that because obviously terror radiuses don't take into account Height, well, the thing is, I, I thought if you, if it is a city, you could have the potential of of, the, of our first actual map. Really, I could miss mid which, not really, half an inside and half outside. So you've got an inside section and an outside section. You could um, it could be on top of a uh, roof of a building. Yeah. Well, I thought as well. Would you have dev because you've got different variations of each map? So could there be for one for one of them have a police station that you could do loops around? Is there one, the next time it's a hospital, the next time it's a jail, maybe it's a supermarket. Wait. Wait. No, hang on a minute. You're forgetting that we don't get maps of new chapters anymore. <laughs> well, we haven't recently, but we might do this time. The last, yeah, do you know what the last one was we got? Uh, Midwich. Midwich, yeah, which was nine months ago now. And people do not like that map. It's It's been a long time since we've got... I mean, I guess we get new maps every update, because the reworks... I guess that counts as new maps. But in terms of actually getting a proper new map, it's been a while. Well, it could be this. It could be the opportunity this time to do I it. hope so, and I hope it is a city thing. I really hope it is. So, well, the, the, go on. Uh, no, I was going to say, well, then, in that case, what you could do... Um, I think well, what killer would go with a city? This is this is based on this is not based on those teasers. This is a few days before. I even wrote this down, thinking right, I'll, I'll mention this in the podcast. Um, you could have uh, so it has to be. What well, I thought would it have to be uh, a ruined city that was claimed by the entity? Um, then what killer would go with it? Well, is it now going to be our wall climbing one? Like the the Wendigo Ooh, was, was yeah, mentioned but, uh, yeah, a every, while back. Every, with, every with map Victor. would need to be updated for it. Though. That's the problem. Well, they are, but they're updating everything now. Maybe the the, the updates for these maps would have included this because they've planned Maybe. it already. Um, and then I, then it sort of got me thinking. And now this is really weird. Um, I then suddenly thought, well, what other sort of maps could you have, like a city base that we've not really looked into? Um, a woods map, like where the wo- the the map is is a woods. You're in a massive forest. Then I suddenly thought, well, the killer there could be Slender Man. There are forest maps though. Which, what, proper forest maps? Just Not proper forests. forest, but like, yeah. A couple of barns in there. I think it'd be really good because it would give cool. the opportunity to get Slenderman as well because he Slenderman drags you into cool. the woods. Um, have you seen the Slenderman film, by the way? I haven't, though. No. Uh, atrocious, don't watch it. Yeah, yeah, sorry, um, it's got Jerry King in it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> not, that, not that she's bad. And to be clear, not that I don't think she's a bad actress, just just no. that she exclusively stars in like bad horror films. I think she's trying to make a thing of it. Yeah, she's been maybe, in like maybe it's two, a meme. Was, her career well, is in, a meme. <laughs> yeah, she was in the Zach Braff stuff. She was in uh, Going yeah. in Style and and uh, the other one. Wish you were here. Wish you, yeah. So wish she's not. Wish, a, I was, she was, wish you were here. Wish I was here. Okay, uh, see her other stuff. So she's not bad. Uh, no, she's. So, she, I think she's a good actress as well. Yeah. I think um, she does it on purpose, like Nicolas Cage. <laughs> yeah, he only plays one character. Anyway, yeah. um, uh, yeah. So anyway, no, I was going to go for Slender Man, but. Yeah, the film, by the way, the reason why I didn't think it was very good is because they just gave away, if I remember correctly, it was about a year ago that I watched it, they gave away what he looked like so easy, so so soon, and it was just sort of like, but he's looks oh, so he's much more man, creepy. And he's but, slender. But he looks so he... creepy when he's in the distance, and it's just like a figure, like a tall figure, and you're like, oh my god, that's pretty cool. And then they zoom in on his face, like a CGI face, and it's like... <sighs> there, there's a YouTube series called, uh... oh, I had just that in my head. Something noughts about Slender Man. Slender, Slender Man YouTube series. Ah, crap, what was it called? Marble Hornets. Uh, it was like a web series. Oh, they finished it, I didn't realise. 2014. Uh, <laughs> creepy as hell. Creepy as hell. It was just these just these, these guys who would make these videos and it was meant to be like found footage, sort of like a documentary sort of thing. And that was super creepy. You, mm. They'd be having a conversation in a car and then Slender Man would just be in the distance and one of the characters would notice it and then the, that would be the end of that episode. Just like two minutes, kind of long conversation. Wow, yeah. It's really, it was really good. That's how you do creepy stuff, just kind of in the distance, just watching. Well, those those horror shorts that you can find on YouTube are amazing. Um, oh, the, the, uh, the 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 which sorry, gone. No, I was gonna say we 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 saw some before, didn't we? We've seen um, there was one of uh, Mama before it was made into a proper film. Was uh, this? Is this is this the Pony Smasher guy? Is this um the guy that directed I, the uh, Lights Out and Shazam? I don't know, but Lights Out is a short horror uh, yeah. clip which I've seen. Which um and I thought I mean, we saw Lights Out in the cinema and it was really I thought it was really good. I watched guy, it a couple of times. Guy, same now. guy made the short and the film. Really? Well, that's yeah, brilliant. Yeah. That's perfect. That, that's how it works, isn't it? It's someone's yeah. idea. Don't give it to someone else. Bloody Disney, George Lucas. Anyway, we're off on a uh, 
bit of a digression. <laughs> um, if it's someone else's story, work, d- d- don't go into a meeting with George Lucas if you're Disney and go, and George goes, yeah, these are the scripts, or these are the ideas for the next three films. And they go, cheers, look, cheers, George. See you later, mate. Chuck those in the bin. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, no. He designed it. If, if he's too old and he wants to spend time with his family to do these, for, to do these films... Can appreciate you know, him. George, George Lucas says that he still makes films, just like short films that only him and his family see. Well, to be honest, I know that sounds pathetic, but that's beautiful. But in a way. Um, yeah, but it's beautiful because he, uh, the whole thing as well, he didn't even want to do the, the prequels. Oh no, was it prequels or was it... No, it might have been seven and eight because he, right. w- he wanted we to spend time with his daughter, um, which makes complete sense. No, he wasn't, yeah, because yeah, he wasn't there. He did the, he did the prequels, didn't he? Yeah. But anyway, that's yeah. Again, a bit of a yes, digression. Yes, Dead by Daylight. I, 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 think that it would be really cool to have a different setting. That's why I would like the space idea. If it's a city map, that'd be cool. I like the fact that there is such a strong visual uh, kind of aesthetic here. It kind of reminds me of Yui's original aesthetic, but when yeah. she came out, it didn't really match that. But I would really, really hope that you know, it's it's a it's a map that's lit differently uh, and that that looks really nice and. That follows on with this. Some people are saying that that picture might actually be of the killer, not of the survivor. Maybe a a well. Ki- if we look at what Magnum Opus means, um, it's the name as of far a, as I'm aware, uh, Sons of Apollo song, isn't it? Oh Jesus! No, that's Opus <laughs> Opus Maximus or something stupid. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. Uh. No. I. Uh, I think Magnum Opus. I think it's a bit of a gent. Well, it's it's someone's greatest achievement, isn't yeah. that right? And it's yeah. usually put towards like an artist or something, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's someone's greatest achievement. And then it obviously it looks quite arty. Everything else, the colours are quite a bit... Yeah, so it, Fur coat, suit, very stylistic. Mighty One Entertainment. What if this whole thing has been a TV show? <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, yeah, I'm inter- I, I'm inter- I love these. I love these things. I love the teasers. Just endless uh, speculation. But I, 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 yeah, I just think I think they're really cool. I'm, I'm pleased that they've done them. I think it's the first time they've ever teased something like this, this so, so overtly. Oh, hang on a minute. That TV theory checks out. Think about it. We've got that picture of Yui by a bunch of TVs. And by Yui, you mean Feng? Uh, Feng, sorry, by a bunch <laughs> of TVs. Yeah, she's by and a then, bunch of monitors, and it says rate my build or something like that. Yeah, rate my gaming setup. And then we've got, uh, which is like a misdirection because it's like people thinking, oh, it's Five Nights at Freddy's. But actually, that could still very easily fit this theme, this TV in there. Uh, and then we've got the glitch thing. That could also be a TV thing, like scan lines. Maybe it's a TV show. I'm a genius. I've cracked it. I've cracked the code. It could, yeah, it could be very much a TV show and there's someone behind the scenes, you know, well, it says been working all night. There's coffee. There's another coffee uh, picture. Um, yeah, might Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Why is no one talking about this? I, I, I've literally, <laughs> I need to tweet this. I need to tweet this. <laughs> I need to tweet this right now. Holy crap. Man. But what, um, t- there has to be a new map with this, then. There has to be. If they're going to do this, it's got to be a new map, surely. They I mean, can't... I'm tweeting. I'm tweeting. <laughs> go on. Let's just, just listen to him tweeting right now. Hey, go, 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 go. No, I'm just saying, I, I, with all these different colour styles and stuff, they and, and they have to bring in a new map. Surely they bring in a new map with this killer. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, we, we can't see the face of this person. So maybe you're right. Maybe they're in a fur... Looks what looks like a fur top. No, fur coat, maybe. Uh, blackened face. Um, yeah, sh- shirt and tie. Looks like a woman. I don't know. Does the love heart have anything to do with on the top of the cappuccino? Well, liking things, I guess. I don't, the... I, I, I don't think anyone else has spoken about this. Seriously, oh, I haven't seen anyone else talk about this being a TV show. It's so obviously a TV show. Look in... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just really, really ta- you know, taking it to the next level. Go. Is it, if you look at the blue steam coming off of the coffee cup, <laughs> what does that represent? It looks. It goes off to the right slightly. It looks like... I don't know. It I, I see natural. a figure. I see a yeah. figure. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't look natural to me. And then kind of... The, the, I will say this: Dead by Daylight are very good at their teasers. Um, is uh, yeah, really strong. Really they've strong. always been really good, and people are just all because everyone loves. I think they thrive off of it as well. People going, "Oh, could it be this? Could it be that?" 
Um, well, exactly. this, this, this generates good press. They do this thing. Everyone starts talking about Dead by Daylight. Yeah. And this is this is obviously, this isn't going to be a licensed a licensed uh, chapter. Uh, we know that from the shard costs in the uh, kind of data mined uh, store listing. Right. Uh, but, this, and this is the way, you got to draw up hype for people, the things that people aren't going to recognize. And it's all going to be about the concept. How cool is the concept? So uh, this is cool. But there was, I wanted to say this as well, add, adding on to the, the theories that we, we came up with before we even saw this. Um, Isuchi came up with this really cool idea. She said, what if it's a shop, what if we get a map like a shopping center? Like it's an indoor, because oh. she said, why, do, why can we not have a shop? We, we thought we might, may have had that when Ghostface's trailer came out. Um, oh yeah, that's true. What, what was, no, there was no map with Ghostface, was there? Uh, don't. No, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I can't even remember that far back now. But um, yeah, the shopping center idea, and we thought would be would be great is that you could have an open area in the middle, like it's all inside, but an open area in the middle with obstacles in there, like little loops and stuff. But you could also have like big loops, and you could go into different shops and stuff oh, like that, and like have a loops mall. in there. Yeah, that like a shopping mall, cool. shopping center. Yeah. That would imagine if that that should have been the freaking the Stranger Things chapter. Forget Hawkins Lab. It should have That's... been the, the mall, the Star, whatever it was yeah. from Series Three. Yeah, that's exactly what Isuchi said. She said, "Remember the um, yeah, the, sh- the 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 mall from Stranger Things, yeah, where, that where they, sick. yeah, I don't want to give any spoilers away if you haven't seen it. But. I, I I want well, I mean, it's not really a spoiler. It's it's set in the eighties and towards the kind of mid eighties. That's when malls started to become a thing. So a lot of series three takes place in a mall. No, but I was going to say about what happens in the mall. Oh yeah, don't yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nothing, <clears throat> nothing happens in the mall. Yeah." I will say this though, I enjoyed season one of Stranger Things more than more than any other season. I, uh, season three I, yeah. dragged on a bit for me. It seemed, get, got a bit cheesy. I don't. I, wasn't, don't I really liked. It. I, I see. Although objectively, season one is the best season. Season three, I enjoyed the most. I didn't like season two at all. I really didn't enjoy it. I, I wasn't really a liked fan of it either. Three. It took ages for us to go through it as well. I think I started it, finished it halfway through, and went. Uh, and then no, we watched. We watched season one, and then I remembered everything that happens <laughs> or doesn't happen rather in series two, and we just didn't watch yeah. any more Stranger Things. So I couldn't be bothered slogging through it. <laughs> Mm. Mm. anyway yes I, that would be it. really cool that would be really cool that would be really cool i would like that i would like that for that to be uh, a mall map or something like that or just something we haven't seen yet something we haven't seen yet not an indoor map please unless it's a big open space we just every yeah. map i mean dead dog <clears throat> saloon feels like an indoor map i feel like the older maps have this very open design whereas the the, the newer out sorry outdoor maps um are more about condensing you down the hallways and stuff. And, and the, th- the thing is, um, I, I feel as though that yeah, the first the, a lot of the outdoor maps are very survivor sided. Uh, let's be honest. Um, however, especially with the corn. Um, cold wind farm. I was about to say that. Cold wind. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, I feel like that, and then I feel like they're sort of going well. Okay, so we need to ma- um, even it up a bit, and then they've put in a few indoor maps, which most of them are killer sided. Um, Dead dog saloon. I'm, I'm counting in that. Um, but it doesn't work why like that does, because, you, why because you're does only on Dead one Dog map Saloon? at a time. Why does Dead Dog Saloon feel like an indoor map? I think it's a small map. And not only that, but um, you've got two, potentially three gens, depending on RNG, that are upstairs. Um, mm. Which therefore means a survivor has to go up there and then jump down. And I, I, th- I feel as though it's, uh, it's very, very survivor side. I, uh, I, sorry, want, I, want, I want more verticality in maps. I'm not just talking about little sections, but I uh, no, maybe I don't actually, because I'm not a fan of Midwitch's verticality. No, nope, change my mind. Don't want verticality in maps. Scratch that. <laughs> Scratch that from the record. Yeah. Um, but what, I, what I'm saying is you can't really do both because you're only on one map for each game. And I can't, again, RNG is a tough thing to do in a, a sort of a, a semi-competitive game. It needs to be a balance. Every every map you go in should be balanced. Every killer, survivor, perk should be balanced. Um, so I, I think that's the issue with them bringing in killer-sided maps and then having some survivor-sided. Um, yeah, is that is you're only on one map for the game. So if you if you're bad enough and you're like, oh Jesus, this is well, let's talk about the game for example. It used to be massively killer-sided. Um, in my opinion, I used to I used to really really struggle on that map, and now they've put in some god loops, and it's a bit different. Um, yeah, like three or four. There, I think Odd Starver counted something like forty pallets on that map. Or seriously, 20, 20, 30, like thirty pallets. Yeah, there's a ton it's, of them on Larry's as well. It's insane. Um, I, I, yeah. I I don't really like uh, Larry's too much. I don't. I mean, I, I like the game rework. I playing both killer and survivor. I don't think it is necessarily pushed either way, uh, but the amount of pallets is absurd, and I know a lot of people have been complaining about it. So I'm not going to dismiss it. Yeah, well, again, 
because of maps as well let's f because the reason why i finished playing the blight is because um i think i had two maps in a row that you just couldn't really it was really tough to get around uh the survivors already had an advantage based on the fact that i chose the blight and we got the map right and it was yeah. sort of like i can't i can't hit people here i started bouncing off things i tried going through little doorways trying to rebound so that i could go the, through the doorway and it just wouldn't have sent me the all the way back this is the problem with the blight is that you if you have a character like that in a game you need to make sure the whole game is designed around giving that character the ability to have that mobility yeah but the fact of the matter is that he's the only killer in the entire game where the maps haven't been designed with his power in mind or the sorry the killers haven't been designed uh, with the maps in mind do you know what i mean like you take any other yeah. killer take deathslinger huntress myers ghostface whoever they, none of them have issues because of map design, uh, but Blight does because of the way he moves. I think as well, I've had a, a problem with Midwitch uh, with the nurse. Now, when I first joined in with the nurse on Midwitch, I thought, this is brilliant. I can get yeah. to anywhere. From, if I go to the center of the map, I can get to any gen in like, pretty much one blink. But then it turns out that there were so many obstacles in there that prevented you from blinking. And I don't understand why. And it was, I had a horrid There's time. A lot of graphics, a lot of graphic, graphical like things added in. It was created um, that. Yeah, so Midwitch, I was thinking this has to be the best map for Nurse because you can, you can literally get anywhere. It's almost yeah. teleporting to a gen. It's almost Freddy's ability with the Nurse's speed and constantly being able to use it. But no, I really struggled afterwards. And yeah, I mean, I, I think I got a 4K in the end because they they messed it up but i got down to like two gens before i got a hook and i thought jesus christ this should be easy but i just yeah. couldn't i couldn't blink properly because it just wouldn't let me yeah um, yeah unfortunately so there's another thing where midwitch was made um and it's yeah I, it's against I, I, the nurse. I, 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 to be honest the, the, one of the big big bad pre works i'm looking forward to the most for this reason is is uh, haddonfield because knowing what they know now and have learned since midwitch's release how do people feel about verticality uh, how do we improve existing maps? I really wonder what they're going to do with a new map uh, and reworking a map like Haddonfield that, let's be honest, fences and heights has been broken. Uh, very, very survivor-sided. I, I think I've had, in the last month, about 10 killers disconnect just because we ended up being on Haddonfield. Wow. It happens constantly. Oh. And I, I get it. I don't, I'm not angry at people who disconnect on Haddonfield because I get it. I get it. It's such a survivor-sided map. So I'm really interested for the new map. And yeah, seeing how the Haddonfield rework comes out as well. And, and of course, yeah. Coldwind Farm. But yeah, whatever. Not fussed about that map. <laughs> I'm not... Yeah, I guess so. I think I, I had recently had a really bad game on Haddonfield. Well, one of them was the, the Blight. But before that, I think I was the Hag on Bladdenfield. Bladden, Bladdenfield. <laughs> Jesus. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it didn't, it didn't go too well. Uh, gens popped so quickly I couldn't get to places. It was just it was really tough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I do kind of get that. Um, Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, right, should we move on to the next thing? Should we talk about the uh, recent debate about killer and survivor balance that has been raging throughout Dead by Daylight Twitter and a little bit on YouTube? Uh, Are we talking about someone in particular? We may be talking about someone you've name drop on a, you you happen to name drop on occasion. Uh, someone that really, really needs all the support he can get uh, and needs more viewers and more subscribers uh, on YouTube and followers on Twitch and subscribers on Twitch. Uh, little known, small time streamer who, you know, streams for a couple hours a week, maybe. Uh, True Talent. You guys probably haven't heard of him. but Right. I, uh, I, um, <laughs> I, <sighs> he, he's the one, honestly, yeah. that got me into uh, playing Dead by Daylight um, a lot more. He, I learned a lot from him. I used to watch a lot of his streams. I still do occasionally when I get the time. The only reason I don't is if I don't have time. So I, I do really get it. I respect him. He's a very, very good killer. Uh, he's a very good survivor as well, but he's a very, very good killer. Um, he definitely likes putting his opinions out there, um, which I'm, I'm fine British. with. And he, he... Uh, you know, you know that the culture shock seems to have been this is a British thing to just be like, ah, this is what I, this is how I feel. This is my. It's, opinion, all, right? it's not just British though. It's not. It's not. It's a northern thing. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, but 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 people then being like, why well, you can't you can't just say your opinion. And it's like well, what? the thing is as well, but he, he is quite a big um, pillar in in Dead by Daylight community. Um, everyone well, knows well, he's, who he's he is. He's one of the biggest content creators. He's one of the biggest content creators. Whether you whether you like him or you don't, you still know him. You know, they say there's no, no such thing as bad press. But I think that he gets um, attacked quite a lot. I will, I will say that. He does. People, for some reason, go off on him. And I, I don't well, understand. Yeah. 
I it think might it's just be I the think opinion it's because he has these opinions. He speak Odd Starver will will Odd Starver will shut people down if they're just straight wrong. But a lot of the time he'll sort of be like, No, I can see why you would why you would say that. And that's that's great as well, to be clear. Whereas true talent's take on it is, no, that's not right. No. No. Yeah, but wrong. But wrong. He does always say as well. In my opinion, he, he will say that. I think. I, um, well, but, but again, it's. I think it is a British thing, and it's a British. I think it's a northern thing. I think we're. You know, he's he's firm in his opinions, and I think that that frustrates people. It does, but again, I. Yeah, I I I get it. I get it, and he he does look at it from quite a. I guess he looks at it from quite a competitive. Air point of view on Dead by Daylight. I think he knows it's a casual game, but when you reach rank one, you want to play a bit more competitive. Seeing as there is no competitive mode or, or ranked mode properly in dead by daylight i kind of i kind of get it but yeah let's go into what you said um the first one the really nice tweets oh yeah i've, I've got it here the, the yeah, first i believe this is the first one but this is the first one i'm going to go through uh, so a couple of days ago he put um food for thought um i think jen's re- so first of all food for thought so it's an opinion that he's putting out there going what do the, you pro- the, the, the problem is i'll tell you i'll tell you one thing uh the food for thought thing does come off a little bit arrogant I'm doing it over so. and over again. I don't know. I think I think that might have rubbed people the wrong way. But again, it's 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 your opinion or your um uh what basically yeah what what you think he's trying to say. But yeah, you know it's it's how you and I can't even think of the word. Anyway, go um, yeah. So he think he said food for thought. I think Jen's regressing like he had ruin. Being default would be a good thing for the game as it punishes inefficient play, hook camping, and bad looping, and rewards good loopers and killers pressuring gens. Why would it be bad? Genuinely want to know. Okay, so he, again, he's putting it out there to people. Um, I have replied to that, and I, I kind of agree. I, I Mainly because if they're not going to change the generator um, repair speed, then maybe it should be... Which, to be fair, I, I, I've got to say, as much, I think the game does need to be slower... Uh, but slow it, but gens already feel like a bit of a chore to do. It's just not fun gameplay. Making them regress, and I agree with you, not the speed of ruin. Maybe the default regression rate when you kick yeah. a gen. Maybe that, and just remove the kicking gen mechanic. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. But well, then what about pop? Um, so, oh, I've then put in. Oh, well, no, 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 but you could still, you could still pop. Maybe you could still kick a gen. You could still pop. Because uh, you get the twenty five. Because you get twenty five percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it continues. Um, what about surge? Same thing. Maybe ten percent. You can still kick a gen. Okay, let's say it goes at this base rate. When you kick the gen, it goes at a slightly faster rate. I don't know. Or you don't even need to do that, really. Um. Well, anyway, the the, the thing that I put is I, I thought potentially like because ruins at a two hundred percent, um, decrease. Yeah. So I was thinking, what would it be? What speed would it be? And I, I originally put what fifty percent because the thing is anything now. Um is better than it you know not having ruin and it not it not happening so i kind of get that so i put maybe 50 percent. some people are saying 150 percent um would be a good one um, yeah. but i kind of i i do understand it 100 percent. i do understand it um you need and it's good for killers but it's also it's it's going to be a good thing for survivors too because if you have teammates that don't bother getting on gens they now have to yeah um and there's an even more even more of a reason to do it and to, you know so i, I do 100 percent agree with that um that it, it could actually benefit the game as a whole rather than just for killers killers won't need to run ruin if they do run ruin maybe it adds an extra 100 percent speed well the the issue is that ruin is already basically base kit i think for a lot of killers <laughs> It is. It doesn't need to be. But the the, the other thing as well. well this, is the, this is the following before, wasn't it? Like ninety five percent of matches had ruin in it before the before ruin got buffed, but nerfed. Sorry. It would make that, sense. Yeah. Uh, you, in, you expect ruin. In that situation, ruin at a high it's level. like okay, well, that's a that's a base kit kind of thing, right? Like you may as well just knock it off. <laughs> the only thing is, there's, there's other there's things I'm going to forget here, but there, there are other um, perks then that would suddenly then get a buff. For example, surveillance would get a buff um, because. You wouldn't need to kick a gen now. Anytime someone works on a gen after letting go of it, will highlight as yellow, and you'll be able to see that they're on it. Um, well, but then, but then you just keep the kicking mechanic. Make that make you go faster. Yeah, but I'm saying surveillance tells you, it gives you information of where survivors are. Yeah, but That's you can still do that. You just have to kick the gen first. So you still kick gens. No. 
Maybe. I'm confu- but what, no, but the idea here is that if someone, if you come off of a gen, it starts regressing instantly. If, yeah, if yeah, yeah, yeah. If it yeah, then but starts then, but regressing. Then if, but then, if you, then you can still, as a killer, kick a gen, and that makes it regress faster, is my suggestion. That way, yeah, I know, but like... what I'm saying is that surveillance will then uh, be a bit more buffed because you won't have to kick a gen in order to find out when people are working on a gen. Or you make it so it does, or it just continues working with ruin. Well, potentially, yeah. Um, the other thing as well is thrilling tremors. So when you pick someone up, yeah, they get, you know, they get blocked. Um, again, though, to be fair, but then if that ruin, and ruin yeah. works together. Yeah, that's not an issue. I mean, people but what not being able, it, people not being able to touch a gen for eight seconds isn't a big deal. I don't think it would go down significantly. Potentially, potentially. But I'm just saying that they'll get a buff. That I mean. It, in hand with that, it means that some of these will get a buff because of yeah. it. Like, you know. But that's again, that's a good thing because surveillance isn't meta. Thrilling tremors isn't meta. So I'm all for giving them a buff if they're not meta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I don't know. I'm. I, I've not really seen. I, I I replied to his tweet on that, and I haven't really seen anything else after it. He didn't reply to to me. He replied to a bunch of other people. Yeah. Um. Someone saying, if that's the logic, wouldn't survivors having built in Kindred also have the same effect as well? Hook camping was one of the most toxic things in the game, and that also punishes it. I wouldn't but mind that. I wouldn't mind that. Built in Kindred. Um, yeah, I kind of guess it. Uh... So, his next tweet? Yeah, sorry. No, kind of builds yeah, off was, this. I was just looking through it. Okay. Yeah. So do you want me to read it out? And then I haven't seen any heat from it. I, I looked at it and I suddenly thought, yeah, what can we do? Yeah. Um, do survivors like being tunneled? No. Do survivors like being camped? No. Do survivors like being slugged? No. So why don't we try and work together as a community and push it to the devs that killers should be rewarded for multiple hooks and not kills? Now, I, I said to you earlier that I agree with that because... Yeah, there, sorry, there was um, a couple of other tweets there that you missed out. Oh, really? I haven't seen... I, I read the yeah, other two really quick. So, Food for Thought. If gen speed wasn't a problem, why do 99.9% of killers in tournaments use mainly gen defense perks? Also, why do most meta perks end up being something to do with gen at slowdown? The only time I see killers not using gen slowdown is when they slug and one-hook. Uh, another one. Food for Thought. Doing 4K challenges and acting like they are wins hurts the understanding of the game and makes people use them as evidence the game is balanced or even in the killer's favor, even though you can negate 66.67% of the overall objective to achieve this. Uh, and food for thought, just because an opinion is popular, doesn't mean it is correct. Yeah, he said that on his stream as well. I remember seeing yeah. that about being unpopular. It isn't correct. So these uh, just I, kind of feed into that more. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of get that. I understand it. Um, yeah, he, I guess in that case then, because I haven't really kept too much of an eye on it. I only saw these two. That he is sort of pushing out a bit more. Maybe he's just trying to defend himself. But I don't know. Well, but about he got. It to but really he, he, about I mean, the way he described it is that he felt like. He had to respond because Ozdar obviously made a 15 minute video responding to these tweets because um, he disagrees oh, with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, quite a detailed one, actually. It's pretty good. Um, right. And he then had to, he then put out a tweet saying it felt like a mob was telling me that I had to reply to Ozdar live on stream because everyone in my chat just started talking about it the moment the video went live while I was streaming. So right. I think he is a little bit, a lot of people have been quite aggressive towards him about it. Which is weird because he's just talking about things that he thinks would be benefit the game. Everyone has different opinions on that, you know. If and if, he is he is a vocal point for the game. He's a fog whisperer. He's one of the one of the biggest streamers. For, for well, the this video. is but this is what Starva says. The videos, you know, he's like, well, he has five thousand hours in the game. What Starva has five thousand hours in the game. The killers, they, the, the survivors they go up against probably have between five hundred and one thousand hours in the game on average. It's just not comparable to what someone with five thousand hours is going to say. Like you're more experienced. So these are the things that. Yeah. The opinions you come up with but then again that also brings into the to the idea of do we need a proper competitive ranked mode is the right. mode we're doing at the moment casual can we then go into a ranked mode can it be ranked can it be a uh, team can you can you put a four man survivor friends team in can you then do a solo ranked you know this is the thing and i honestly believe they can do it but not while they have whatever it is thirty thousand players in the game it's not possible they yeah. the, the thing is the devs should look at it and go jesus we really need to keep pushing this game and not make the same mistake as we did with the, the 4.5.0 patch and get more people involved we need to get you know again maybe they're looking at getting another massive license like pyramid head trying to get all these people in uh, to play the game then if we get this many people we don't make any stupid mistakes again maybe um we can build the game and have enough of a player base so that we can have a ranked mode and we can have a casual mode um and there still be quick queue times 
Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, queue times is the is the key thing. If they added a casual mode, queue times might suddenly get really, really long, and that would be frustrating. And let me tell you now, the answer definitely, absolutely, definitely is not what they did on mobile and put bot killers. Do not do that. Mm. I well, I would not. Well, I would not want to play against a bot killer. What's okay, as long as you have the option. And to be honest. Uh, bots for killers and survivors that DC, I think that's fine. I think that's a good thing. And a bot mode, maybe a training mode that puts you up against a bot killer, I think that would be okay as well. A tra yeah, training mode's fine. You can go into training, you can try different stuff. That's and fine. plus, you can, you can, a, a bot doesn't need to have fun. You can tune a bot to make sure the players are having fun. That's the other thing. I wouldn't put, mind put a training a bot, mode in, a bot but not killer a ki mode. Yeah, but not into the normal, not into the live servers of casual. Or, not, not or by ranked. default. Not by default. That would suck. I mean, again, if players disconnect, then yeah, but not by default. Bot killer, bot, bot survival mode, training mode. Or if a player DCs, just automatically take a gen or two off of the. Uh, as long as you're not on one. Yeah, gen, but automatically if, take but it off and give the killer three hook. That's on harder the count. to balance though, because like. It's not because you you can't about, play with your friends on 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 a uh, live server. So what about things like Devour Hope? What about things like Devour Hope? What about it? Well, you need to be getting those unhooks, right? A DC takes the ability to use a perk like that away from you. No, it doesn't so, because you give three you give three unhooks. Yeah, but then how do you calculate that? You can't just suddenly get three stacks towards Devour Hope. You can. We well, you're not always not every unhook is going to give you a Devour Hope token. It will if you're playing the killer properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 potentially, but potentially apart. it won't. Like if someone's looping around the hook, for example, nothing you can do about that situation. I think bots are the better way to go there. Well, the better way to go is to prevent people from DC and give, <laughs> yeah. give them a real good reason to go, shit, yeah, I don't want to I don't DC. understand give why, give people, a, if why they... do people complain about the DC bans? There is no reason to DC in a game other than being toxic. If it, if it only happens to you once or twice because your connection is poor, then you're not going to get more than a five minute timeout. You should be banned from the game, banned from matchmaking if you are continually DCing. Yeah, I, I honestly think they should be harsh and prevent it from happening by going, right, okay, you're going to... Because people don't... Not many people care about ranks, but you should go, right, okay, if you, if you DC, as in you rage quit, not if your PC crashes, which, again, you could just unplug it, but still, um, then you should be given whatever uh you should be deranked to the next rank not just a pip yeah, yeah. um you should also Two then bits. be given yeah a 10 minute timeout if you do it twice in the space of an hour you should be given a 24 hour ban i suppose the, pro the problem is people with poor connections but then i, I, I... but th there's got to be a way with technology i don't has know to be a car. there has to be a way that you can tell when someone's connection goes and when they press the button leave game Oh yeah, definitely, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. There yes. you go then. So if you can tell the difference, that's that's how you figure it out. Yeah, and I get it as well. They can't ban people for twenty four hours because they then they'll fucking lose ten thousand players in the first day because people, lots of people do it. Get you, this is the thing. Build the game up. Get more people playing it. Get you. You need to get. I mean, you you we want surely you want a hundred thousand people playing at one point minimum all the time. Yeah, surely that's yeah. what your your goal is. Rocket League now hardly ever goes under a million players playing at once a That's million insane. it's insane the highest i've ever seen it go up is 1.7 million well, people playing at well, one, well, at maybe one the, point. maybe the solution is for dead by daylight to go free to play i mean csgo did it successfully rocket league did rocket it league successfully. Played it successfully yeah fortnite's fortnite uh, battle royale has always been free to play uh you and could do that you, you could don't do it. need I to mean, change anything because there's already i mean I paid six pounds for it. You got it for free on PlayStation, right? Yeah, and then I, I paid, paid fifteen pounds for the PC version. Yeah, I think I spent like fifty quid on the uh, all the DLCs. I spend. Yeah. I happen. I happily spend six pounds every three months on the, the new expansion pack. So I give them twenty four pounds a year. Uh, I recently bought the Max Amount of Vorex Cells for seventy five quid. So. And let's face it, their cosmetics are very very good. Their art team uh, do such a phenomenal job. People yeah. are going to spend money on cosmetics. And maybe maybe going free to play is the solution for this game. I don't know if they'll ever do it, but I, I, I never really considered that before. But maybe that would be the way to go. I mean, and think about how many more people I I I could I I you know on my hand like at least ten people that I would recommend play the game if it went free to play. I'd say yeah, yeah. just check it out. It might yeah. not be for you, but why don't you just play it? 
Because exactly. it's on everything. It's on Switch. It's on it's on PlayStation. Obviously, yeah. it's on Xbox. The thing is, Stadia. as well, and I play Apex, and Stadia, that's but... free to play. And to unlock a new character, Apex. you need to get twelve thousand um, well, uh, shards or whatever. Let's just say in DBD term shards. What you do then for for DBD, so that because you either get loads of people playing it all the time, what you do is you raise it from nine thousand shards to twelve thousand shards to unlock a new killer or survivor. Um, but that. That might have to be for licensed killers as well. That's well, the it, issue. it would be an injection of new players into the game. Think about, and this is the other thing, think about the Silent Hill and the Stranger Things chapter. When they released both those chapters, they released dedicated Stranger Things and Silent Hill versions of the game. Yeah. Because they know it's a harder sell to say to someone, pay £15 for the game, then pay £10 for the reason why you're interested in the game in the first yeah. place, rather yeah. than just pay £15 for both. Free to play. Then you can. I mean, you could just, you could charge a tenner a tenner for the non license to fifteen pounds for the license. I, I'm fine with that. Like, I completely not, agree. Actually, I, I think I think free to play is a great idea. Yeah, no, it's a good. It, it would get an injection of peer pe- players into the game, uh, and grow the game even more. I mean, it is a massively successful game, and it even now, even now, it's still at the highest point of its history. Its highest year, twelve month period of its history. Maybe not this month in particular, but in the last 12 months, uh, you know, we've seen 70, 80,000 concurrent players on Steam alone, probably mm-hmm. 150,000 or more across all platforms. So. I'm hoping that the patch thing has given them a proper scare and they're going, shit, okay, we need to make sure this doesn't happen again. Well, they're let's communicating re- so much better and they're working yeah. so hard and so fast. Yeah. Well, let's hope that it doesn't fade. Um, and they need, they really need to. That hopefully that was a scare, so that they really, really put everything they can into the game, and it just grows and grows. And hopefully yeah. that was their, their, their point of, that, that, that was their epiphany. Yeah, yeah. Just going, oh, okay, this could happen. We need to really work hard. Well, I mean, let's let's see how this chapter goes. I mean, we we've gotten so off topic several times. There's so much to talk about surrounding this. Yeah. Um, but then decisions like about the health of the game and stuff, I just think will be easier. When there's more players, when you're not thinking every single time you release an update, are we going to lose a significant chunk of our player base? That's going to mm. because if ten thousand people stop playing the game, that affects the other fifty thousand people playing the game. Whereas if ten thousand or twenty thousand or whatever is such a minimal number, and you've got a much higher degree of players coming and going, then it doesn't matter quite so much. I'm yeah. saying if it was free to play, then you get more players. Yes, yeah. maybe maybe you're right. Maybe it should be free to play. I'm a genius. I'm always right. <laughs> Right, okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> My God. Hire me behaviour. Uh, I'll do it for free. Um, we haven't spoken too much about the update. Um, 4.5.1, oh, 4.5.2. Beautiful. 4.5.1 was kind of meh, but 4.5.2 has... I could spin around on the spot again. I'm so happy. I don't know if this, this is true for you, but when I'm waiting to see which direction the killer's going to go, I instinctively spin around on the spot so that I can easily jump off into any position. It probably doesn't make any difference, but it feels like it does to me, and it's always something I've done. Couldn't do it in the last update. Now I can do it again, and it feels right. And I've, I've been 360-ing, and hits are like the fairest, in my opinion, they've been since I started playing the game. Like They've done so many great things. The new UI looks a lot better, but keeps the new features and things and, and improvements yeah. that they wanted. It's, it's a lot better. That thick font of that number five next to the gen, though. Jesus, yeah. that was thick. Yeah, Almost as thick as Jane. Um, so basically, um, I have a little. I had a bit of a shock when I first um, installed 4.5.2, um, otherwise known as 4. Point fix the game point two. Um, I went up against our little friend in my first Survivor game called Freddy. And let me tell you now, <laughs> they have not fixed Freddy's lunge. No, well they've they've made everything. Uh, they've made normal, everything go back right? to normal. Yeah. And I was getting hit from the other side of pallets. I was getting hit nowhere near the killer. I thought, oh, God, they've told us they've fixed it, but they actually haven't. Um, luckily, that was just because I was against Freddy. So, please, devs, I don't care what you say. Maybe you're right. Maybe you are. I think you are right. Every killer's lunge is the same distance. Freddy is too fast. What happens is he makes that distance in a quicker time, so you don't expect him to make well, it. I've told That's you what why, it I've, I've told you why I think this is right. My theory. Go on. It's yeah, that, I think it's you have, he's, yeah. he's, he's one of a couple of times, I think. He's one, of, he's one of the few killers, or the only killer, maybe, that hits... Oh, no, Demo. That hits with their hand. So he feels like he's further away because his animation yeah. isn't like... I mean, take Pyramid Head with his massive freaking sword, for example. <laughs> no, for God's sake. Or even just the knife. Like, it's going to look better. I, I don't know. I don't mind Freddy's hits. 
but it, it's a visual I've come thing. to it's a visual ex- thing i've come to expect them now but yeah. i wasn't expecting them going up against him and, and i was thinking oh is freddy back to normal as well like the other killers but no but no well, honestly, he is back I, to normal. I, well yeah he is yeah well he never changed no but um yeah no uh they've done a really good job fixing it everything th- feels smoother as well the i don't like the the injured running animation Maybe like I'm used to, to I, I was looking at old Noob 3 videos and god those old animations are so ugly I didn't realize until I got used to the new ones just how terrible they were before this is yeah, definitely an improvement it's, it's fine I just I just don't like that it's as if it, like I say it's as if she's you know your character's just caught the ball and they're running for a touchdown right yeah 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 they thought they got the ball the, the, the football in their hands and they're they're running <laughs> Um, dropping the shoulder occasionally, going, oh, I'm going that way. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember I saw your thing. You you did a yeah. one of your clips was about that. Um, and I even got fooled once as well because I was the killer and they dropped the shoulder and I was like, well, there's dead hard. Um, and I went from and oh. then they dead hearted in front of me and I was like, I mean, could you say that's your fault though? Well, no, because them dropping the shoulder looked like they were dead harding. Um, and I thought, right, okay, dead hard. Well, you out should the way. have been paying more. Yeah, no, no I see what you mean. I don't. Know, I think I, I'm. I think they've deliberately done that just to just to help the survivors a little bit more. Um, yeah, maybe, actually. maybe because it doesn't. It, because when dead when they're running, is a frustrating perk. But, well, so to use you mean? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it still doesn't work. The amount of times I've clicked it and it still doesn't give me a, a couple of times as well. I've dead hearted and actually been just in the animation of the lunge, and I, then I get hit. Right, right. Um, so dead hard's still fucked. As far, as far as I can see. Well. And but yeah. people are saying, "Oh, it's to do with the servers and and the the connection." It's like, well, fix it. <laughs> I think it's just about telegraphing it properly. It's, I, I, don't, I don't I don't I don't use that. I've been using it. I use it today actually on, on Dwight. I play a couple of games this morning. Uh, I try and do a couple of games every day off stream before work. Um, and yeah, again, I'm exhausted on the ground or, or whatever. It's 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 a frustrating. It's not a nice thing. Use. Yeah. It's a frustrating. It's a very frustrating perk to use, but not one that I think I would necessarily change because sometimes it does come in clutch. So that's fine. Like when you're running towards the exit gate, for example. Yeah, that's that's a great. Yeah, that's a great point to use it. I, I do yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, my my one thing here, looking back on what we've spoken about. Yeah, it could be a TV show. It could be something really, really cool with a new killer. Like I'm, a, I'm, I'm sticking to that TV theory. I'm sticking to that TV theory. I, it speaks speaking Why, to me. What does Magnum Opus have to do with something? Because generally, I've got it here now. It says Magnum Opus definition is a great work, especially uh, the greatest achievement of an artist or writer. My greatest work will be to fool a group of serial killers and and survivors into thinking that they are in this immortal plane. When in actual fact, it's all been a TV show the whole time. It's a Truman Show. I wonder if in the Truman Show, the bloke calls it his magnum opus. Hold up, hold up. Masterpiece. Oh, magnum opus. Masterpiece. No, he doesn't say that. It's I am to do with art. very much intrigued to find out how this goes and what this is going to end up being. Yeah, very, that'd be really intrigued. cool. Um, I have no idea. I, I can't get excited for it because I have absolutely no idea. So it could go either way. I guess yeah, we'll see yeah. on our next podcast. They would have probably released a teaser trailer for it by then. Hopefully, if they put in teasers out now. So this is Name That Perk, the uh, game show segment that we end our podcasts with sometimes, uh, where there are three killer perks and three survivor perks, and one of us has to guess what it is based on its name based on its description. What is it? What it is its name? What is its name based on the description? So I will remember, be answering. I Jack will well. be asking. Yeah, and you know, I read perks out. So you don't have to. Um, <laughs> okay. Go. This is annoying because this is going to say some stuff. But anyway, we'll go through it anyway. Okay. Years of evading the cops taught you a thing or two about stealth. Urban Your evasion. It's too obvious, isn't it? <laughs> it's, one of my, it's one of my favorite perks. Of course it is. Okay. <clears throat> you transform plants found around the camp. Botany from- knowledge. Come on, give me a hard one. I just, I literally picked them at random. We may have already done some of these before, but we'll see. Achieving goals boosts your confidence. After a generator is completed, you will not leave any scratch marks for several seconds. Poised! Yeah, well done. I wouldn't have got that. I'm surprised I got that one, to be honest. But, I don't um, use rubbish perks. Yeah, no, um, I, 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 uh, I know the image. So it always comes up and I think, I'm going to have to ask people about that perk. 
and more. Because often I'll be like, this perk's rubbish, and someone in my chat will be like, no, it's good. Here's a two paragraphs <laughs> on why it's good. And Poised is one of them that I just think is completely indefensible, but maybe someone has an answer for it. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Three out of three. Killers now. Yep. Your acute tracking ability allows you to hone in on disturbances left by running survivors. Scratch marks left by survivors will spawn increasingly closer together. No. Deer stalker? No. Is it got a, it's not it's not the blood one. It's I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called. Do, 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 did it, did it. Do, 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 do. Bow. Bow. <laughs> Predator. Predator, yeah, we've got that. Okay. Hit me. The cries of the unfaithful make your heart leap. Any survivor that are within the... Any survivors that are within the... Oh. <laughs> the cries of the unfaithful make your heart leap. Any survivors that are within the killer's terror radius, while another survivor is put into the dying state by any means, will yell and, re and reveal their aura to the killer uh, for several was... seconds. Infectious fright. Correct. Nice. I always get that confused with thrilling tremors. I don't know why it's called thrilling tremors. Shit, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Does it fit? Does it fit? Okay. <clears throat> so you've got Go. four now. Yes, four out of six. Okay. After kicking a generator for the next 30 seconds, the first... Wait. After kicking a generator for the next 30 seconds, the first survivor that interacts with it will scream, revealing their location for four seconds and becoming afflicted with the exposed status effect. For 60 seconds. Oh, this is a. Um... This has a cooldown of several seconds. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This good. This is a uh, pyramid head. Uh... I'll try the tour, man. It's not. Yeah, I don't know what this is called. I don't know what this is called, I'm afraid. Wait! Zenshin Tactics. Tactics. What is it? What is it? It's actually a blight perk. Oh, okay. Which is Dragon's cool. grip. I was gonna uh, wait and see if you were gonna guess again. Yeah. No, no, I don't. I don't know killer perks. I just don't know killer perks, especially not the oh, new ones. So what did you get? Five? Four? Four. Four, four out of six. Better, better than we, we had, I don't think either of us have got more than four. I think four is both of our um I think you got six out of six on the first one we ever did. Really? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll think I can check. Yeah, I did. So yeah. <laughs> I'm right, a champion. Where, where can people find you? Ah, uh, you can find me. What? Give them my address and stuff. Yeah. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash jackstalock. J A K S T A L O C K. Also on Twitter at jackstalock. Um, I have a Discord as well, which you can find the link in my Twitch page. You can find me at youtube.com forward slash Pepsi TTV. Uh, youtube.com forward slash ah! Pepsi. Whoa. What? Uh, I'm also on YouTube as Jack's the Lock. There you go. Jack you Lock Drumming me. on YouTube as well. And also Pet Needs for my band. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Pepsi. YouTube.com forward slash Pepsi TTV. Also, uh, I schedule is it mine of a vanity name yet, but I am starting a second channel called Pepsi Max, which is going to be Twitch highlights. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's brilliant. Not my That's name. So I was good. I was going to call it Pepsi Live, but someone was like, no, nah, no, nah, either Diet Pepsi or Pepsi Max. <laughs> Diet Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi Max. Pepsi Max is better. Pepsi yeah. Max is the best That's one. such a great thing. Uh, so I've, I've already got two videos up there. One where I very briefly explained desync and another one which is a Bubba game on the game where um, I wasn't allowed to go upstairs. Uh, that was an interesting one. Um, yeah. And twitter.com for Pepsi TTV. And yeah, stream on Mondays and Tuesdays and Thursdays and Sundays and videos on Fridays. What? What's what? See you in the fog.